because I fancy we can get our teeth really, really stuck into this final game. It's France versus Australia. Uh, well, I talk, we talk about David and Goliath. I don't even think that this is as big as David. Uh, France, minus 400. Australia, uh, minus 1,100. I, first of all, I look at this game and go, Australia, what are they not to score? Minus 145. Let's go hunting. The draw at 525 is redundant. Okay, France to win by two goals at minus 130. Or France to score three at plus 135. Potential winners for a lot of people. Not for me personally, Mina. But this France has got two players for every position against an Australia side that might not score in any of the games. Yeah, that is the problem when it comes to Australia, not to mention the fact that their centre-backs are just returning from injury and we don't know if it's touch and go. Uh, we only know that, for example, their towering centre-back in Sutar has only just recovered from an ACL injury um, before his selection to the final squad. My God, how important it is to have both of them at the back. They were vital when it came to Australia's qual qualification. And that in itself was a nervy affair again uh, with with it uh, being touch and go for them. Obviously, France are such overwhelming favourites. I mean, the very fact is, is I was looking at Mbappe anytime goal scorer, and with the minus, <laughs> and every other goal scorer, even with the massive... You don't love your minuses, Mina. No, you don't no, love she your hates minuses. minuses. Uh, that's why I she loves my... Senegal at, like, plus 525. Yes, <laughs> I love those big risky ones, you know, when I feel like I can definitely, like, oh, it's a very close hit. So when I was thinking minus, 10, minus 110 for Mbappe, it means that everyone actually thinks this guy. And you have to think about it. Otherwise, I mean, obviously, I love Benzema Barando, and I think he's the best um, forward in the world, frankly speaking, for how his ability is to tie the game in the final third. But we don't know whether he's going to play or whether it's going to be Giroud. So I didn't know how to bet on either of them. I do think that France can score so many goals. Now, here's my issue with France, is that they play in second gear until you force them to play at their best. They are defensively cautious under Didier Deschamps. We have never seen them show us what they're truly capable. Not even when they lifted the World Cup, there was a part of you that thought they concentrated more on their defence than they ever have done going forward. More importantly, when they're up against a side that's all about chaos and energy and soul and fight for the shirt and that warrior-like spirit, they fade. We saw that against Switzerland. We saw that against Turkey um, for the qualifiers, for example, in the Euros. We saw that against Hungary. Hungary. Yes, you know what they're like, right? And we know that they are the type of team that'll be like, yeah, we've got this. They can get arrogant and then they'll they'll just ruin it. But we also know that Mbappe has a kind of individual quality one can only dream of. And he's just capable of resolving any match and, and scoring a goal, at least one. So I didn't know how to find value in this, if I'm really honest with you, just because you never know what Australia can do because of France's arrogance. Um, unless they do play this very defensively, and then that will be a shame for France more than anyone else. They'll show they have such a strong squad. Yeah, they do. They do. But they listen, you have got to question their hearts, even though they are twice winners since 1998. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, with Australia, they will force them to fight. Because Australia haven't got the quality, they haven't got the technical quality, but they have hearts yep. as big as lions and they know that this only comes round. They might not qualify for the next two or three World Cups. So them boys have got to live the dream right now, Alex, and they will be dangerous from all set pieces. Uh, totally uh, solid uh, defensive unit. This Australia side, uh, they will probably set up a, a low block. Uh, they rely on uh, tall centre-backs, as you said, who will come at set pieces, corners or free kicks from the left and right, you know, who will come in uh, uh, France's box. Uh, and uh, this might be a danger. I, I, I even see them scoring. I know that it's, a, it's crazy <laughs> to, 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 to see Australia scoring. But it's but, not uh, that usual. But, but because uh, France is missing so many good players at the back, you know, uh, who are either injured uh, or I don't know what is happening with them. Um, even Presnel Kimbembe right now uh, uh, got out, uh, so uh, he's injured. But I still that uh, this uh, France has uh, a force in the attack like like no one other. You know, yeah. they have uh, Mbappe, arguably the the the. Okay, let's not say the best player in the world right now, but one of the best players in the world with so much quality. They have uh, Griezmann, they have uh, even Giroud, uh, who is uh, enjoying a great season. They have Ousmane Dembele, they have uh, Mbappe. Let's see if he will play in the first match or not. 
They even have Kingsley Coman from Bayern Munich. <laughs> you imagine the list that. is endless. They've got two players yeah. for every exactly. single position. Right. Uh, and I, I don't think that they will. Um, I think that they learn from their mistakes uh, when they are uh, uh, playing against this type of uh, um, fighting spirit teams, like we've seen also last year against Hungary at Euros, uh, uh, like uh, the ones Mina mentioned. So I think that right now we learn. They will learn from their mistakes, and they will try to to solve the match as as soon as possible. So I think that they they will have goals in them. I think that they are also determined to to to, to show that uh, um, the form is irrelevant right now, and they are great, you know. Uh, so I think that they will destroy Australia. I don't know. I, yeah, I do. I, I do. Feel, I feel for I feel for Australia to be honest, but I think <laughs> that. I think that France has the power right now to destroy Australia. I know it's the first match, but how important Flash is to win the first match okay. and to show yeah. to the rest of the giants in the uh, in the World Cup, we scored four in the first match. You that so we're coming for you all, you know. So yeah, but what it I does also is it takes the um, it takes the pressure off of the whole the squad pressure, exactly. for the third game because if they go and win the second one. If they go and win their they second game rotate. and they've got six points out of six, they rotate and then all of a sudden right. when you get to the round of 16, the boys, it's all going to be about the petrol in the tank come the later rounds and France are expected to be there. Now, the only thing I would say is if France score early, it could be an absolute party. But we have also seen this France side and Australia fit the mould great that they will frustrate, they will battle. And if they do not score early, this could be a game of France maybe only scoring two in the last 20 minutes. So we have to uh, make sure that we can adjust. Um, when, when did they score though, recently? How, how, they've never scored more than two goals, France, recently. And, and they, they lost to Croatia. They drew to Australia in the Nations League. Um, but you I, said that Nations League doesn't count. Come on. Yes. Yeah, right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, just leave it and just let's go with the quality. Um, but obviously, Australia will give it their all. And I just fancy that will not be enough. Let's see where we found value, though, because this is game number four of this show. So let's have a little look. So what did you go for, uh, Mina? Let's see it spin round, please. I, I refused you left to it. go. You left yeah. it. Ooh, there wasn't enough pluses. <laughs> no, OK. Well, I've gone with France to score three. Um, France team total over two and a half at plus 135. I think they score three times. France minus one and a half at minus 130. I'm trying to uh, build up my, uh, my bank. I don't know. I, think, I, 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 I really think that Australia is one of the worst teams in this World Cup. I, I, yeah, I don't think they'll score. I don't think they'll score in the three games. But obviously with VAR and the set pieces and the, the way... 2006. 2006, we said Australia was one of the worst teams coming into the World Cup, yeah. and they were the only team that nearly knocked out uh, Italy that went to yeah. win it. So I, I don't know. I, yeah, Australia, I know. But, but, that's, but, that's, that's why we love the World Cup. Is, who, yeah. who else is worse than them? If you, if you look, uh, I don't think Qatar is worse than them. I think that one on one Qatar beats them. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I think Qatar beats them too. But, yeah. but Listen, there's a lot of bad teams, to be fair. There's a lot of bad teams in this World Cup. Uh, and hopefully, listen, I don't care about being entertained. I care about putting money in my pocket. And that's why we do yeah. this. Do you know what I mean? Other people put on content for the World Cup who want to say, oh, this is great. And they play right and left. No. Well, how are we yeah. going to make this and turn this into money? To money. For France to win 3 0 will be lovely because that means Alex cashes as well. At minus 1.5, at minus 130. If uh, Mina does like what she sees, then she will add, and you'll have to be following at BetUSTV. TV.